33B dealing this time with wind pollination. So we've got the transfer of the pollen grain from the anther to the stigma through air carried by the wind. And so the pollen grain, the first adaptation we expect to see is to have lightweight pollen grains, probably with some kind of wing feature which allows them to move through the air more efficiently. Secondly, we would expect to find that the anthers will hang well clear of any basic flower structure down here. So the anthers will be sticking out like this so that they're exposed to the wind. A third feature would relate to the stigmas and again if we have a basic flower structure we would expect that the stigmas will have a really large surface area a kind of feather like structure to catch the pollen grains as they pass through the air on the wind and will be caught on to this stigma structure here. If we look at the image here of this grass, we'll note that there is no colour in the petals, not needed to attract the insect. There is no scent. It has no nectaries. no point in producing sugar or scent or colour. This is a waste of energy for a grass which is a wind pollinated plant. So the adaptations are light pollen grains, exposed anthers and exposed stigmas.